everybody. It is Kathy. And I love to be selling. Come on in, sellers. Happy New Year. I have my Happy New Year hat on for you. Happy, Happy New Year. And we will get right to it. Just let me know that you can hear me. Say hi. Let me know how your weather is, how you're doing today. Um, and I'm going to get right to it. And I'm going to be explaining to you how selling on eBay. And it's not just eBay, it's also gonna be affecting people that are selling on Etsy and other sites, how selling just got a lot, lot, lot more expensive. And you better be aware of the changes because I want you all to keep making money and to keep having nice profit margins. So let me see how everybody's doing. Hey, Mary Jo, how are you? Good to see you, thanks for joining me. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Happy New Year, Scott, waving from Virginia. Good to see you, how are you? Hey, Brenda, how are you? Nebraska, thanks for joining me, I appreciate that. Hey, you guys, nice in Texas. Oh, you're having spring in Texas, rub it in, Ingrid. <laughs> Rather chilly here in New York today. I had a lot of layers on. Anyway, come on in, you guys. It's great to see. You. Hey, Cheryl. Okay, great. We got the Midwest. Good, good, good. Hi, Shammy. How are you? How are you, everybody? Good. So this is what I want to talk to you about. Um, if you're not aware of it, there is going to be a postage in, and this is going to impact everybody. The rate increase is as of January 27th, 2019. And I do my best to date my uh, videos so that you know, um, you know what specifically I'm talking about and also what the date is. Um, sometimes with videos, it can be a little misleading if you come across me um, and my videos a year or two old, you do wanna know the age and that's true for anybody because information changes rapidly, particularly with the postage. And that's what I wanna be talking to you about. So just as a little backstory, um, every year there are rate increases with the USPS, the United States Postal System. This is not unusual. It's not that it doesn't happen. It happens every year. And every year we as sellers are always like, oh, you know, what are they gonna do this year? Um, so this is what's gonna be going on. Now, just about every service that they have is impacted. So Express is impacted, Priority is impacted, regional rates are impacted, everything is impacted. What I'm going to specifically talk about with you and what can make your selling much more expensive is the first class changes, okay? I will do videos in the future about the other changes, but what I like to do is be very specific and very targeted and also keep everything digestible. Um, I find when I'm learning something, if I can keep it to a chunk, like 10 or 15 minutes, I, I'm better to digest that. And then once I understand that, then to move on to the next thing. So what I'm gonna focus on with you all is the changes with first class. I'm reading from notes too, just to let you know, um, because postage is real specific and I wanna make sure I nail it on this. I've actually spent the past two weeks studying this and I'm not kidding you. I mean, hours and hours and hours going over the charts, listening to, you know, reading different blogs, uh, just a lot, a lot, a lot of research to really understand what's going on. So. As of January 27th, first class, and I'm only gonna speak on first class, 16 ounces and under, or it's actually like 15.99 ounces and under, is going to be going to what is called zone pricing. Now, if you don't know what zone pricing is, it's very much what's going on with priority mail when you don't send flat rate rates. So for instance, I'm in New York. And if I send a priority package, um, Scott's listening, he's in Virginia. If I send a priority package to Scott, it's gonna be one rate and Cheryl who's listening um, is in Kansas and it's gonna be more money for me to ship out to the Midwest because I'm on the East Coast, okay? And we're all familiar with this, which is the closer people are to you, uh, the rates will be less with priority and the further away they are, it's gonna be more money. Well, guess what? They are now gonna be doing that with first class. And this is why I'm giving you a heads up on this because it's not just a few cents. It's quite a chunk of change. And so we really need to talk about it and take a look at it so that you're aware of what it is and then you can make the best choice for you. And that's what I do, by the way, with my videos is what I really try to do is to give you information and then you make the best choice from you. You'll very rarely hear from me say like, you must do this or you must do 
<laughs> I really try to give you the information and then you decide what's best for you. So right now, and I'm going to primarily speak to eBay sellers, but this certainly applies to um, my Etsy sellers too, is um, you basically, you've got two choices is you offer free shipping or you're offering what's called, um, or paid shipping. Now with paid shipping, you can do a flat rate, which is you just figure out a rate that it's going to be like it's $3 to ship or $4 to ship. And you can do that for first class or you can do calculated. So the shopper pays for the shipping and it's on a shipping calculator. You put in the dimensions of the package and the weight and then eBay will charge the shopper the correct amount of money. They will pay it. It will ship. I usually do, and I use calculated shipping on eBay. I usually do it with items that are heavy. Again, I'm in New York. This is particularly true for sellers that are on either coast. So my California sellers, um, you know, up and down the West Coast, so that would also be like the state of Washington. Um, but basically the West Coast sellers shipping to the East and us East Coast sh uh, sellers shipping out to the West Coast. One is a heavy item under the current pricing. What I've been doing is I do do calculated shipping because I want to be fair to everybody so that somebody in Virginia like Scott is going to pay one rate and then somebody on California like my friend Leanne is going to be paying more because it's going out. Well, guess what? This is now going to be the case with first class. So your first choice is not to do free shipping and to do calculated. You do the dimensions of the package and the weight. eBay will do the math. The people closest to you will be getting charged one rate. People further away from you will be getting charged another rate. That is choice number one. And it is probably the simplest choice is to use calculated shipping. Now, we know that eBay and other sites are always encouraging us to do free shipping. Um, a lot of shoppers like free shipping and free shipping does give you a slight boost in best match criteria. So if you are selling in a very, very competitive category, and many of us are, certainly offering free shipping can help you with better placement in best match in eBay search. And certainly that's a good thing. But this is why I want to talk about this is free shipping is going to cost you one thing right now. And as of January 27th, it's going to be quite different. And this is what I want to show you. So hang on, I want to pull up the domestic zone charts. And that's not what I want. I want the USPS site. So hang on just a second because I thought I had it. And I've got the zone charts and I'm going to show that to you too. But hang on a second. Let me get the USPS rate change. Do, 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 do. Here we go. USPS rate change. And that's what I do too is when I take you to sites, I really try to take you to um, authoritative sites or information so you can sort of read it. Um, and let me just pop you over here. So this is the USPS. Um, let me just show this. Yep, there we go. Okay. So this is the USPS. Says so the United States. But whoops, that's a domestic chart. Hang on. I'm going to show that to you too. But hang on. So this is the USPS postage rates. Okay. And they go into effect January 27th, 2019. And you can Google this. USPS um, rate changes. Okay. Do, 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 do. This is what I want to show you. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Uh, this is it, first class. So this is what I want to talk to you about. First class package service, okay? And this is anything, envelopes, everything. First class, 2019 rates, commercial-based pricing. And when you print your labels through eBay, prices that you're getting. <clears throat> so if it's one ounce, God bless if you're sending a one ounce package, there's no change for zone one and two. But look at this. So if I'm shipping in California, it's going to increase by 43 cents. Let's hop down to, let's do eight ounces. So eight ounces, yay, for zone one. If I'm shipping right around New York, New Jersey, no increase. Out to zone eight, if I'm going to California, it's 45 cents increase. But look at this, nine ounces, okay? And if you're shipping things like clothing, small collectibles, there's a good shot, something's nine ounces. Close to me, it's only gonna go up by 48 cents, but look at this. If I'm shipping out to California, it goes up by a dollar, okay? 10 ounces, if I'm shipping to California, it's going up by 83 cents. And look at this, 13 ounces, 
which again, isn't hard. Um, a lot of dresses could be 13 ounces. Several pieces of children's clothing could be 13 ounces. Um, again, collectibles can be 13 ounces. There's a lot of things. And look at the difference. 12 ounces for zone one and two is not going up at all. 13 ounces is going up by 84 cents. 13 ounces at California is going up by a dollar 43. Okay. And again, so this is what I want you guys to be aware of is you need to look at the weight of your items and hang on a second back to these changes. Hang on a second. Let me just show this again. So there is such a big jump between 12 and 13 ounces. That's what I wanted to point out. Okay. Even if I'm going out to zone eight with 12 ounces, it's only 51 cents, but it's a dollar 40 for 13 ounces. So this is me putting my seller hat on. Okay. My seller hat <laughs> is, can I knock an ounce off the package? Now, don't under wrap. It's not worth it. If something could arrive damaged or broken, saving the dollar isn't worth it. But could I cut the envelope down? Could I go down to a smaller size envelope or poly mailer and save myself an ounce? It's worth it. If you're shipping a lot right now and 13 ounces and you can drop it down an ounce, saving that money is totally worth it. So this is why I say is you got to look at what you sell. You got to look at what the average weight is. Six ounces, 10 ounces, 13 ounces. It'll depend on the category. Um, and look at what the prices are. Those of you that are in the Midwest, you're going to have more people that are closer to you. Okay. It's no coincidence that eBay shipping hub for global shipping is in Kentucky. It's right in the middle of the United States. So everything's sort of equidistance. Those of us on one coast or the other, it's going to be a different situation. Now, this is what I want to show you because the next question is going to be, how do I know what zone I'm in, right? Aha. Uh -huh. So let me just show you this. This is the domestic zone chart. Then I found this. Again, this is USPS. So just Google, and I'll put a link to this um, for you guys to help you. This is the USPS domestic zone chart. What you do is you enter a three-digit zip code. Now, this took me a few minutes because most of us don't have three-digit zip codes. When they say that, it's the first three digits in your zip code, right? I had to Google around to figure that one out. It will then tell you what zone all these other zip codes are. I actually used eBay zip code, okay? So that's a huge help. Look at your souls. Where are you shipping to the most? I ship a lot to California. So you're going to, I for me, I would definitely want to factor that in. I'm going to assume perhaps 30% of my sales are going to California. Okay. If I'm doing free shipping, do I want to bump up my price 25 cents, 50 cents to average that out? Or again, because we're talking choices, do I want to take free shipping away and put it on a shipping calculator? It is your choice. What I suggest is if you do a lot of free shipping and you may not want to go to calculated shipping is you might want to split test and take that inventory category. Let's say I'm trying to make something up. Uh, let's say I sell a lot of um, uh, tabletop glasses, you know, like drinking glasses take half of my inventory and put it in calculated shipping and half of my inventory and put it in free shipping and adjust the price up a little bit. If I'm going to be spending probably a dollar and change more to California, a third of my sales are California. Maybe I'll bump everything, you know, by 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents. Okay. You need to think it through, look at your sales and look at your profit margin I would also, because this goes into effect at the end of January, I would really keep an eye on your competitors. If you know two or three sellers that sell items that are very similar to yours, keep an eye on what they do. Okay. One more. And I found this. This is gold. This is my present to you. I was thrilled when I found this out because I love the domestic zone chart 
you know, when you put the zip code in and then you can see where everything is. And then you're going to sort your solds, look at your solds um, and see where you ship the most to. OK, um, bonus tip. If you use GoDaddy outright bookkeeping and other bookkeeping apps may have this availability. It's just because I know with GoDaddy, it does have it. There is a report you can sort your sales by state. So you can see what your big states are. For most people, it's going to be the most populous states. So it'll be like California, it'll be Texas, it'll be New York. But again, if you have GoDaddy outright bookkeeping, you can sort by state. Literally scan your salts for the past 30, 60 days and see what it is. But look at what I found. And I absolutely love this. So hang on a second. Let me pull this up. This is, now this is from 2015, but as far as I know, this is current. So, and I'm going to put this link up for you too. Look at what Indicia has. It has a dynamic zone map, right? I'm going to show this to you. Hang on. So I Googled, I found this. I was like, oh, and I was like, well, you know, this doesn't help me because it's not, I don't live in California, right? Ha ha. It's dynamic. You click this dynamic zone map. And you can put your zip code in. Again, I put eBay zip code in. It gives you your zones. Look at this. And you can print this out. Okay. So zone one, because this is eBay, is over here in purple. And then two is the blue. Three is the lighter blue. And then eight over here is um, the East Coast. Alaska is eight. And this looks like, and excuse me if I'm wrong, this looks like um, Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands. Okay. Isn't that cool? Yay, Indesa. So that's the Indesa USPS dynamic, bleh, dynamic zone map. Just put your zip code in and kaboom, you will have your zones. And then you know where your zones are, which I love, 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 love. So look at what the postage increases are. Use the zone map and use the domestic zone chart from USPS. And look at your solds, either with GoDaddy or just searching in eBay or Etsy, whatever you use. Um, look at your zip codes and figure out where you're shipping most to. Decide easiest choice, go to calculated. If you don't want to do that because you're a huge fan of free shipping, your customers love free shipping, they're used to free shipping, that's what works for you. Look at what the price increases are because some of them are pretty hefty and decide, okay, my price margins are good enough. I can absorb that. That's okay. Or I'm going to bump my prices a little bit. Or I'm going to split test. I'm going to do some free shipping. I'm going to do some calculated. And I'm going to see what works best for me. One more thought. Free returns. And I have free returns. I would say about half my inventory, I have free returns. Please be aware if you are doing free returns, it doesn't matter if you're doing free shipping. It doesn't matter if you're doing calculated shipping. If you do free returns, please take the time to do the math and realize that your cost of your returns is going to go up. Now, for me, I've done free returns all in categories that I get very few returns. Honestly, since I've done free returns and I'm doing free returns now for about six months in various categories, I think I've gotten two returns. I mean, really, it's very, very low. So if, if even if the return goes up by a dollar, I'm still okay because I've only had to take two returns like in the past six months. And I'm a top rated seller. I'm getting my 10% final value fee discount because I do same or one business day handling. So for me, free returns on the categories I've selected work. But if you've got free returns on everything or a lot, and let's say you take several free returns a week, but some categories are just higher return than other. Please, please, please do the math and realize that your cost of returns just went up. Um, okay, good, good, good. Yay, 